What is going on everyone? This is Dylan from We The Coast. We are checking in at SeaWorld Orlando on a beautiful day going on here. Just a quick little update going on by throughout the park and we'll see everything with all the changes going on by. So, we shall see what's going on. Anything regarding with the new project going on by, the Penguin Trek, as well as whatever's going on with Shark Encounter. So without further ado, let's go enjoy today's feature presentation here at SeaWorld Orlando. If you like what we do here at We The Coasters, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, and hit that bell notification for any future uploads. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So showcasing uh, riding Pipeline here, it is a five minute wait. And of course, I do want to reiterate, they do have a test seat, or at least a testing with the restraint system that is over here to the left of the ride. So if you do want to check it out, please do so. But it is a little different compared to the actual ride itself, which is right over here. Now, the good news of Pipeline, it's running two trains. So that is fantastic to see. So we're going to hitch right it right now, and uh, we'll see how the ride will be. So before we talk about our ride here, they do have a couple of new things here. Uh, they have these over here, these Makala ukuleles. Those are 80 bucks over here. Got them in blue, white, and pink, and they got pipeline cups over here. And everything else is about the same. Maybe this new tank top is over here. Just gonna see how much it is here. It is 30 bucks. So I just wanna showcase that real quick. So as you see, we did pipeline, the wait time, pretty quick and easy, and just bumped up to a 10 minute wait. So nothing too crazy, but right now there were a lot of crowds in the parking lot, but probably not for the coasters yet. So just wanted to point that out, but weather, beautiful day, just like uh, yesterday at Busch Gardens, Tampa. So it was, good, it was. It was beautiful, but just, we got some bugs in the air and also it's yeah. not cold, but. No, it was just be like, just perfect. Ain't hot and humid. No. That's what I'm happy. Amen to that one. So, just want to showcase about them today. So, that's good to see. So, at 5.30, they have a sign showcasing all the areas that will close. So, I'm going to show you right here. That's the Sesame Street Land, Mako, Wild Arctic, the walkthrough area, at Vinny Falls, Shark Encounter, Icebreaker, and Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Time subject to change without notice. And they have that sign right over here in front of Icebreaker over here. And, of course, they have to have it on the other side too, just for people. And look at the line for Ant Altitude Burgers. Wow, it is slammed. It is the lunch hour, but I've never seen a line that large on a day like today. That is amazing. But that's what happens when you have only one side operating. Interesting. Well, the Dippin' Dot stand is open. You know what that means? Well, we now know what's gonna be in this building right here. It is called Dockside Pizza Company. So this used to be an arcade for the longest time and then briefly an ice cream shop and then nothing for the longest of time and now finally it's going to be a pizza company so that is interesting to see what will happen i'm looking forward to seeing this once it comes out there is one thing i am curious though there is technically some pizza over at the place in antarctica i think it's called uh, exploration i think it was where they have the chicken tender towers the burgers the Asian food and then there's pizzas over there so I'm curious to see what type of pizzas there will be over here compared to that location because that one has 
some longboard pizzas that are there. So I'm curious to see what will be here. Infinity Falls. Last time we were here was a five minute wait. Today, 40 minutes. And you kind of see where the people are forming right over here, where they're lined up. So I just want to show you after a ride on Icebreaker, they're doing some work over on Shamu Stadium there where they have this whole entire area over here painted brown as they're doing a renovation project out here. I don't know how well you can tell because of the crane that's over here, or at least the, the pad that's over here, but not really a crane, but more like an observation area. And they're working within this area right over here. So this is the left side of the stadium that they are working on to make a little bit of a restoration area. So don't know when that will be done, but looks like they got a long way to go. And here's a better look as you can see right over here. So somehow this whole area is not blocked off, but they have this whole area being worked on right over here. So you can see where the coloring is really taking play. So they are not allowing anyone inside the stadium, but apparently this area is open. I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure the other side is too. But this is where they're doing a lot of the work. You can hear all the projects that's going on in there, buzzsaw everything else around here it's an interesting thing though but this, this area really needed a bad because it was definitely seeing some uh age really kick in here in this thing this uh stadium has actually been around for as long as the park was open so very well needed so i want to point out mako is running one train today and at the side when we arrived there was a 50 minute wait and there is where the line stops moving one train operation on Mako. Christian's here. <laughs> yes, and we have Christian. Hello there. Yeah, hello. So, not a fun wait time, huh? It's not a fun wait time. One no. train is the best ridiculous. I know, that's insane. But, yeah, that, that's what happens in SeaWorld, I guess. It's kind of weird, but uh, what do I know? So, it looks like we got some work for Penguin Track. We have some active progress going on. Because, well, you can see it here, but we have a construction vehicle kind of working around in here but they are definitely digging some dirt yeah they're digging hard they're really going for it kind of see through there right here they are digging some footers around here this is for penguin track the new b m coming to seaworld orlando in 2024 that dylan cannot ride i know so this roller coaster, because this is actually the first time we've been to SeaWorld since the announcement we came, is a family launch roller coaster made by B&M, which is taken over the spot where the Antarctic building is. Now, around somewhere within this area here, they have built a hole in the side of the building where the train will be coming through. And the progress on that is going to be interesting. And the best way to get a good view is if the tower down there is not working, head over to Manta and get your views from there. Because once you get out of the pretzel loop and then make your turn around, that's where your views really kick on in. So that is good to see there. Also, this area has finally opened up, which is Scratch's Kitchen. Seaport market type of place, I think. Yeah, so now here, you see there's a little bit of progress over here. But you get a really good view over here. Just a lot of dirt being dug up over here. Now again, as I say, Antarctica's uh, land is still open. You can walk around in the area. And the building itself is open to see the penguins. I don't know how much longer that'll be. So we'll see. Manta, a 10 minute wait. That's very surprising, especially what's going on with Mako. So we're gonna get our views of penguin track when doing this ride. So. Let's uh, hop on Manta and show you the view of the construction progress.
So you notice that view that's out there, they're doing a lot of digging and they're putting in a lot of the footers that are being used to put in, say, like the supports of these roller coasters here. So what it is with these roller coaster tracks, they have supports that are connected to the track, so that way, you know, they keep the track in one piece and all the energy that is used to let the coaster go on by with all the g-force that go on by that goes on by throughout each of the track that goes around and they're doing a lot of that over within that project so they're doing a lot of digging and they're putting in a lot of drilling in there for the supports so the track will eventually be on there but they got to get those bad boys you know planted down and whatnot but you can see from that side that we were showing though they're definitely doing a lot down there a lot even for a coaster of that size it's unbelievable uh, so yeah, that's really interesting. So if you want to get a good view, definitely do Manta. I do want to give a very quick shout out to one of the ride ops that was out there. He, uh, he loved his shirt saying that, uh, again, if you've ridden Supercharge, that if the restraint fails, you know who will catch you? Family. Thank you, sir. You are a trooper. Thank you so much. Shark Encounter. Let's see if we have an update with that tunnel. So last time we were here, they blocked up this area. This time? Looks like it's open. Let's go take a look. And yep, you can see it. It's open. That's cool. So it looks like this tunnel has definitely had a little bit of a touch up over here, especially on the outside, putting a little more light there. And probably cleaning up the area here in the tunnel. So that is good to see. At least SeaWorld has gotten this open again. That is a good sign at least. Not sure uh, how long it's been down, but at least from what we last saw though, it's down and now it's back up. I have been informed on Mako, it is now at a five minute wait. They've added the second train, so let's hop on. Well, that's going to do it here from our visit at SeaWorld Orlando. Quick updates going on by and everything else that you need to know with the park. So, a few interesting developments with Shark Encounter finally getting that tunnel back open and also a lot of progress going on with the construction site of the new coaster opening in 2024. Penguin Trek there. Cannot believe that that is actually digging up a lot of ground and starting to show some work. Really dig it in there. So, Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you liked, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the bell notification for any future uploads. Follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, at We The Coasters. So follow my Twitter as well. Until then, thank you guys for checking us out. You'll find all that information in the link tree description down below. Until then, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Until the next video. Peace.